What's good, Blackstar Podcast? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Jared. Today, we're going to be reviewing a video from the Philip Scott Show. Now, this is what men are going to, this is what men are talking about what women don't want to compete for a man. Now, listen to what this, what this sister has to say. So I got a woman that want to, you know, just get some answers. Now, this woman is based actually out of Houston. And she was having a conversation at a bar, you know, with a brother that was there. Let's go ahead and roll that because, you know, really some of the responses that he gave her could be true, but a lot of it is just something I take an issue with. Let's roll that. I really actually have a question for the men. I, myself and a friend of mine went um, to happy hour. And so we were sitting at the bar and there was a guy next to us who was there by himself. And we started to strike up a conversation. It was a black guy. And so he was basically trying to like school us on why black women aren't uh, like finding their man, getting married, whatever. So his first thing was that that we're aggressive. That was the first thing. Then the second thing was that uh, most black women are like over 190 pounds. And then he um, was like, black women don't know how to uh, treat a man like our like great grandmothers used to treat their men. So we were kind of just like, okay, if you want us to, you know, be like a lady and be like our great grandmothers, then y'all have to act like our great grandfathers. But again, he wasn't trying to hear that. Um, so Here's the problem. Men have always been doing what our great grandfathers do: work, provide for the home, and um, bring home the bacon to the wife. The problem is, women have changed with the advent of social media, with with the creation of dating apps, with a lot of this stuff that's really going on. Women have changed for the worse. More women are now talking about, I don't need a man because I have a job. Problem is, a lot of y'all are not making over $40,000 a year. Y'all are right under $40,000 a year talking about you don't need a man when you have all of these high price ass bills. Problem is, a lot of y'all think that y'all going to be these six-figure earners when only... 10% of the population as a whole, including white women, white men, Latinos, Latinas, Asian men, Asian women. That's 10% of the population as a whole. A lot of y'all don't understand that there's only limited spots for people to make $100,000 in the corporate world. Now, if you have a business, cool. But most, most businesses aren't going to be hundreds of millions of dollars, a uh, hundred million dollar businesses. So if you want to be honest here, a lot of us need to understand that most of us, a lot of us are average and you're going to have, to, and you're going to have to compete. But the thing is a lot of women don't want to compete for a man, nor do they want to treat a man like their grand grandmother, their great grandmothers did. Although the men are doing the same exact jobs that the great grandfathers are doing. And that's a problem because y'all are wanting y'all are wanting y'all wanting more, but y'all are provide y'all are bringing less. Y'all are bringing kids. You're bringing used up uh, uh, box. You're bringing debts out of the ass. You're bringing problems. You're bringing bad attitudes. You're bringing on cooperation. Y'all bringing a lot of stuff that that subtracts from you as a as a woman. And then you're talking about you treat you like then you're talking about you're not gonna treat us like our great grandmothers did. Cool, we understand that. But the thing is you can't ask for the same exact thing that our great grandfathers did when you're not the same exact thing as our great grandmothers. It doesn't work like that. So then he says that even though he wants us to be like our great grandmothers that we are supposed to evolve with the times meaning since he's sitting at the bar by himself that essentially the women should come up to him and ask him 
you know, maybe send him a drink or ask him out on a date or basically be the man in the situation. So it's just like really hard to understand. So like, okay, so I'm in Houston and we were also talking about how um, in Houston that it's like one to six. So one man to every like six uh, woman. And so I was saying to him, like, that's also an issue too, that there's just not enough good men out here. And we were specifically talking about black men, um, for these black women and that, you know, we don't want to fight the other five women to get this one man. So he was saying basically that we should be trying to fight these other women. And the way that we fight them is trying to put ourselves at the front, meaning, Come up to him at the bar, send him a drink, ask him out on a date, like do all of those things to get his attention over the other women. Otherwise, he's going to go with one of those other girls. Then he's like saying like, that's the reason why black men date outside of their race, because these black women don't want to, I guess, fight the other women for their attention. Now, for now I'm going to say this. With that being said, a lot of men understand that what they're bringing to the table is a lot more than what a lot of women provide. Men understand that we're we're out here working our asses off and the least that a woman can do is compete for us and show that they're attracted to us. Show that they actually want us. Problem is a lot of women want a man to come up, come up and approach them, but they want to be the they want to have the actual chance to actually blow us off. First right of first right of refusal, I believe that's what it's called. They want the first right of refusal. Problem is men are taking that away from a lot of women, and there a lot of women are confused. So they're not understanding that. A man's supposed to compete compete for the woman and the woman's supposed to compete for the man. Get every day every day is not a competition. It shouldn't be a competition every day. But what I'm saying is show that man that that you the reason why he chose you. Show that man that he made a good choice. I don't want to say it like that because it sounds kinda shallow. But show the man that he's making a good choice by, by being with you. A lot of women don't want to do that. They say, Oh, I got the man. He ought to show he ought to show me that I that he ought to show me why I should keep him instead of actually it being vice versa. It's always a give, 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 and a take, 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 but they're not trying to give, 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 and they're only taking. So when a man is giving his all, he gets burnt out. Especially when a woman doesn't show him that he she actually gives a damn or wants to be with him. Men get tired. Men get burnt out from that. And the problem is a lot of women don't understand that that burnout, when that burnout occurs, there's no chance that you can ever get that man back. When men get burnt out, men get burnt out. But that's it for this video. Like, share, subscribe to the channel, support the podcast, subscribe to the comments. See you guys on the flip side. Thank you guys for listening. Bye, guys.